we're going to demonstrate the in-system debugging capabilities of Atmel Studio with a simple example project. The hardware used is the UC3L0 Explained board and the JTAG ICE 3 debugger. For the project, we have chosen the board template example project for the UC3L0 Explained board, which includes a GPIO driver. Since the AVR simulator is the currently selected debug target, the AVR simulator button is currently visible on the Device and Debugger toolbar. Click on this button to bring up the Select Debug Tool window. If you have more than one debugger connected to your computer, you will be able to select which one to debug with in the Select Debug Tool window. Select JTAG ICE 3 and close the window. You will now see the JTAG ICE 3, with serial number in brackets, selected as the default in the Device and Debugger toolbar. To start debugging, click the Start Debugging and Break button. This will stop program execution at the first line of Main. Now a Stopped status is displayed in the lower left corner of Studio, and a yellow arrow indicates our position in the code. When debugging, the output window at the bottom of the screen is replaced by a debug-specific collection of windows, like the breakpoints and watch windows. The Solution Explorer also gets replaced by the Processor tab, which shows the state of key registers, including the Program Counter, the Stack Pointer, and the status register. A cycle counter is also available. You can also look at the I.O. view, which shows the state of all the peripherals registers. Let's add the variables counter and I to the watch window. Right-click on any instance of the variable and click Add Watch. We can now see the variables and their values in the watch window. When we're not interested in stepping through the details of a specific function, we can use Step Over. Every line of the function is then run in the background, while the cursor simply steps to the next line of our current file. Let's set a breakpoint on the GPIO set function. Right-click on it and select Breakpoint, Insert Breakpoint. Click Run and the processor will execute the program code until it halts at this breakpoint. We can now step into this function by clicking on the Step Into button or by pressing F11. To see the effect of the GPIO Set Pin function on the output value register OVR, Go to the I.O. view, select General Purpose Input Output, Port 0, scroll down to find OVR, and expand to view P11. We can now see the status of this bit, which, when set, should switch our LED off. Let's single step a few lines to confirm. As we step over the line where a 1 is written to the OVR set register, the bit becomes a solid red square. This indicates that it has changed to a logic 1. We can click on this bit to change it to a logic 0. On our board, the LED has been switched off and then on. Click Step Out to return from this function. We will remove the breakpoint in the for loop and insert one in the while loop instead. F9 can be used as a hotkey to insert and remove breakpoints. Before we run to this breakpoint, notice that both our variables are still zero. Click Run. When we reach the while loop, both variables counter and I have the value 100 as expected. Click Reset to reset the processor. Click Stop to terminate the debug session. For more detailed information on Atmel Studio debugging, 
see the Atmel Studio help chapter on debugging.